case study, polycystic ovary syndrome. Poly means many, cyst means little tiny tumors everywhere, ovary means it's stuck on the ovary, syndrome means we're not really sure what causes it. Well, let me tell you what causes it. So far, we've had six patients with polycystic ovary syndrome. They come in, they want to get pregnant, and they can't. What's the number one cause of polycystic ovary syndrome that I've seen? Maybe there's other causes. It has to do with toxic food. And the body is so smart that if you're taking in toxins, tumors, cysts, fibroids, those don't grow out of the air. Tumor cysts and fibroids are the body walling off toxins. So the more toxins you put in your system, the more toxins are going to be walled off, then you're going to have multiple cysts. And then if you're eating foods that, um, oh, say high in pesticides, and most pesticides are estrogen based, they're going to be attaching on the female organs. So this is where breast, ovarian, uterine, cysts, and tumors generally come from. So to solve polycystic ovary syndrome, and here's a shout out to, uh, well, I'll call her Jane. Okay, <laughs> that's not a real name, but she is just such a sweetheart. She wanted to have kids so bad, so bad. And this is about five, six years ago. She now has her second kid. Okay, and uh, I gotta tell you, the kids are really cute, but what did she have to do? She had to give up the fast food. She had to give up the packaged food. She had to stop microwaving food. Her diet was plant, now it's plant-based. We got her pelvis working correctly and her kids are pretty darn cute. Oh, and by the way, the kids, they're totally not vaccinated. One of them was born at a hospital, the other was born at home. So, you know, it's, it's just beautiful to see that. And, uh, I, you know, it's just fun. Solve the problem, find the source. God bless.